He's witnessed the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat from both the sports chair and the news chair. We're talking about our beloved Corey. Corey McFerrin anchors his last show tonight. Nate Rogers takes a look back at his storied career. Here's to you, Corey, from uh, Hillcrest High School to New Orleans to New York and all points in between. You've been a credit to the industry, and I'm proud to call you a friend. He's had a familiar face and perspective in Chicago for more than three decades. Fox 32's Corey McFerrin now headed for retirement. Hey, Corey, I can't believe you're retiring. I thought you retired years ago, dude, after I left Chicago. Hey, on behalf of all the front office people in Chicago, sports, have a great retirement. You did a wonderful job here representing all the stations that you did. When a guy like Eric Clapton calls you the greatest living guitarist, what does that mean to you? It means that whenever someone come play, come watch me play, who never heard of me, I better play. <laughs> <laughs> the same guy you see on TV, he's that and more in person. Including my 84-year-old dad, uh -huh. yeah, who is celebrating tonight. Funny, compassionate, always tuned in, and homegrown. The pride and joy of Hillcrest High School, Markham, Illinois, you are the man. Good luck in the next adventure. It's so exciting you get to call your own shot here. But remember, it's time to put the makeup away. Hey, Corey, you know, back in the day, our rivalries were vicious and nasty, but it's so great now that we can sit down and laugh about them. Really value your friendship, man. You're the best. Did you get that on a two shot? Corey McFerrin, Channel 6, person to person. Corey's TV career began in the late 1970s, first in Davenport, Iowa. He also worked at news stations in New Orleans, Denver, and Atlanta. Today's the day to show it to you. And I got to Corey, tell you, it's been it such a privilege working with you. You just make every day so fun. I have learned a ton from you. I know everyone around me has learned a ton from you. You're going to be sorely missed. And this is a real special poster, isn't it, Mick? What's different about this one? In 1984, Corey became the top sports anchor at WABC in New York City. In 1991, he made it back home to Chicago, CBS 2 News. We're live with Michael at Michael Jordan's restaurant. That sounds good, huh? Then in 1995, Corey joined WFLD Fox 32 as our lead sports anchor. Let me tell you, I, I'm happy to be here. And I looked over, I saw how much fun you guys we're having here and I said why not there's not that many guys I know in my life who literally have lived their dream and you did it 30 years amazing career so proud of you Corey you are the wind beneath my wings you're the ultimate goat you've always been the glue that has held this team together I'll be forever grateful for your friendship and your generosity love ya Career highlights include reporting on the field in Houston in 2005 when his beloved White Sox won the World Series. Corey transitioned from sports to news in 2010 and became evening anchor in 2017. And we begin with our record-setting heat. Good evening. I'm Corey McFerrin. And I'm Dawn Hasbrook. This We've was been partners for 13 years now, so I'm very sad to see you go. But I also know that you're going to have such a great time in retirement and spend time doing all the things you love. Corey, you've been such a joy to work with. The energy that you bring each and every day is just so positive to the newsroom. It's undeniable. Thank you for taking me under your wing. You've made me comfortable since day one. A mentor and ambassador for students at Butler University, a TV legend, but friend and dad are his best titles. Corey takes great pride in being a family man. We're gonna miss your passion. We're gonna miss your sense of humor and we're gonna miss your commitment. And on behalf of all of us at Fox 32, even though you're a Sox fan, we're gonna miss you. Congratulations and all the best in the future. Okay, where's the Kleenex? I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for putting that together. That was something else. I, uh, I wasn't quite prepared for that. And uh, it just brings a lot of memories back. And uh, the uh, a couple things in there that, that we saw, uh, the one moment in the uh, 2005 World Series celebration where I talked about my father. and. Yeah and started choking up a little bit and that probably is, is the one thing that got more uh, of a response than anything I've ever done. Uh, didn't mean to do it, it just happened and uh, people still talk about it to this day and uh, it was an amazing experience to be there at all but for that to happen and that to still be around is, is neat. But all the people who had those wonderful sentiments, I appreciate it. Um, 
I've loved, you know, this has been something I've, I grew up. Looking at everyone else. Yeah, I was, I was a kid and like any kid in the, in the 60s, you, you love TV, yeah. <clears throat> everybody did. And, and I gravitated to watching the TV news with my parents, mm -hmm. uh, with my family. And I was just enamored with watching Floyd Calber and Fahey Flynn and a young Bill Curtis. And, and Johnny Morris and Brent Musburger, and it just goes on and on and on. I watched those people and the way they worked, and, the, and I loved everything about the city of Chicago, the, the architecture, the lakefront, the energy, the hustle and bustle. And I thought to myself, wow, is there a way to maybe someday be a part of that? And here you are. And, it, you know, and it, it, it happened. Does it feel weird to be called a legend? Yeah, that's silly. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I feel uncomfortable about that. But... Um, <laughs> You but I, I, but but the idea that 32 years in one spot, um, I didn't. I mean, that's a long time, and uh, I'm proud of it. And uh, there's nothing. I mean, you talk about a, having a dream and having it fulfilled. I um, I can't imagine anything more than what's happened. Yeah. And uh, well, you're deserving of all of this. Well, and we're gonna yeah, still thank say you. one more goodbye. Okay. All after right. this.